over. Rudolph got it away to Dryson. Now Dryson gets it to Orsley. Now left side, they've got a three-pointer, and they knock it down with Joy Harris, the senior. Just kept working it around the arc, and a top. She gets it to Ledford. Ledford drives right, crosses over, puts up a jumper. Good, Lydia Ledford. That was a beautiful move. She's got all five for the Lady Wolves. The rim. Rebound is loose on the floor. There's a scramble. Buford's got it, but they lose it. They get it back. Now they throw it up top, and Ledford's got it on the logo. Ledford gets it left side. Here's a three ball for Watson. Good from the left wing right in front of the central Gwinnett bench. It's half court. The freshman gets it over there to Orsley. Orsley in the lane, spinning shot. It's good. Boy, what a nice move by Olivia Orsley. Past a couple defenders, cross courts it over there in the right corner. Here's a long jumper all the way and good. Central Gwinnett feeling things offensively. Joy Harris with the jumper. They're up by three, 11 to eight. Buford steals it, and here comes Ava Grace Watson with it the other way. Watson outside. Now they hand it back off to her. She's going to try a deep three from the right side. Good on the quarter, coat, quarter court logo. Ava Grace Watson with a big shot and ties the game at 11. Yeah, you're exactly right. It went down there. Taylor Romano with a steal in the backcourt, races down and lays it in with the right hand. It is a nine-point Buford lead. I mean, Wallace on the floor. Here is Watson with it outside. Watson, tight coverage, gets it to Romano. Good off-ball screen. Three ball up and good for Taylor Romano. The old elevator play. Now Watson going to try to push quickly the other way. Watson kicking it long outside into the corner. Here's a three ball up. That's going to be short. Rebound, though, is Watson, and she lays it in good. She's got 10 points on the night. Buford's up by 14, and we've got a timeout on the floor with 5.06 to go here in the opening half. Back to Harris on the right wing. They go inside. Ball deflected. Stolen by Lydia Ledford. Ledford now on the run the other way. Kicks it outside to Betty Wynn. She catches. Gets it to Ava Grace Watson. Catch and shoot. Three is good on the left side. And Watson starting to score a little bit more here now after going cold there for a little bit. Buford's up by 22. To Coco Rudolph. Rudolph cross course it. They've got an open three for Sierra Dryson. She can't get it to fall. Rebound deflected. Deflected. It comes to Orsley at the foul line. And she banks in a shot good. So that kind of quiets the run a little bit. If you can make that skip pass or a ball reversal, you step right into a wide open three in transition. Orsley missed a shot for Central Gwinnett. Now Ledford with a shot just inside the free throw line and gets it to go in good. The offensive rebound comes down to Central Gwinnett. The putback's no good, but they get it again. Now they throw it outside. It's stolen by Ledford on the run. She's going to add to her total with a right hand and lay up here. Dryson going to put up another three. Got it to go again. Dryson's kind of feeling it here in the late goings of the ball game. That's her sec second straight three. Well, the, the check is still hot. It's caught. They hand it off to Dryson with five. She puts up a three with four. It is no good. Buford rebounds it. And that is going to be it. And the region championship trophy is coming back to Buford. The Lady Wolves win the region 8-7-A title with a 62-46 win here over Central Gwinnett on their home floor. To the region 8-7-A.